All right, good afternoon, good morning. Thanks again, you're watching Let's Paint TV. Is in the house for another exciting hour of power. I'm your host, Mr. Let's Paint. Let's do this, let's do it. Let's rock and roll. Or not, or just hang out. <laughs> uh, so much optimistic, so so much optimism uh, put forth uh, that we can't really necessarily guarantee anything more than just hanging out. And if that's the case, we'll take that too, uh, because that's how we roll. That's how we roll. These are the breaks. Break it up. Break it up. Break down. Eight one eight five two eight four five one six. Are we getting an audio? Am I getting an audio back feed? Maybe not. Okay, let yeah, that's that's what's happening. Let's let's fix that audio here if we can. Turn it down so we don't have to hear ourselves. It's just a hint. It's just a hint. Just a tad bit of the audio coming in, so. Uh, what you gonna do today, says Laura Berry. And that is a great question. Uh, what you gonna do when they come for you, bad boys, bad boys? What you gonna do, what you gonna do when they come for you? Um, Cops is filmed live. Uh, live with the with the with law enforcement, blah blah blah. Bad boys, bad boys. Which which cops uh, municipality? Which which town did you guys like, or what was the more memorable cities that you liked from cops? I always think I, not. Well, there was, I guess there was a few different cities. They, they, oh, Boward County in Florida. They would, always, they would always hang out there. That was probably the most recognizable. Kind of had the Miami Vice. That was like Miami Vice sort of segued, you know, Don Johnson and uh, the other guy, they, uh, Millie Vanilli and uh, Don Johnson. Uh, that's not his name, but anyway. That, that program kind of, you know, was successful and then kind of dissipated. And then right, right, I think right away, cops came right in, right? And uh, Boward County, cops. Yeah. Uh, but then they went, they did a whole, I don't know if it started. I don't know the history of cops, the, the TV program. I was in another country and I was watching the head cops in Spanish, which was kind of cool. Kind of, it made me feel, uh, made me, it made me feel at home. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm at a uh, uh, Machu Picchu, uh, a, a historical uh, cultural center, and, and I'm watching cops in Spanish and uh, felt, felt somewhat at home. Uh, felt, uh, I felt the world uh, a lot smaller. One of the more, uh, in cops, one of the more recognizable guys that I, uh, in terms of a cop, was the guy from the Portland Police Department who went on to have his own, like, he had a spinoff, the guy. I, I forgot what, he, what his show was. It was like uh, Asshole. <laughs> no. He kind of played, all cops generally play assholes, so it went, wasn't too amazingly different whatever the new show was called all right uh, 818 oh we don't have the number listed here 818-528-445 they're not all assholes actually a lot of, some good cops good cop bad cop you know good cop bad cop uh speaking of good cop bad cop duff whiskey uh a uh, new season of duff whiskey is uh coming uh about to, to begin uh production just letting you know uh that uh well, we're letting you know that that's, that's an option uh, that uh, someone could pick up. We're looking for someone to pick up that option. 818-528-4516. Give us a call. 
we're uh, busy drinking our coffee. Uh, Eric says, sorry, John, dislike cops. You, you, you don't like cops. Cops are scary. They can be. I, you generally do not want to have to talk to a cop. Here's the problem with cops. Let me tell you. Here's the, here's, here, this is the cops, cops in a nutshell. You're either talking to a cop for two reasons. Either you're a criminal or you're a victim. There's no, there's no two ands, if and buts. There's no, uh, and possibly, possibly, you're a, a, a elementary school kid, and, and a cop comes in and, and turns on his, uh, brings his car, and he turns on the sirens for you to, to listen. You know, uh, but that's about it. There's not much. There's no much leeway. They're, they're either, they're either uh, for you or against you. There's no like, yeah, whatever. Okay, uh, anyway, there's the number, 818-528-4516. We're going to try to uh, super drive our program here uh, if we can. Uh, and uh, with your help, we will. Uh, 818-528-4516 is the number. Uh, I'm just going to check some more, uh, check my emails uh, and, and stuff like that just because uh, it's, uh, it's fun to do. And uh, not much uh, going on. We had some activity, though. Uh, that, that article on Vi in Vice really uh, kind of uh, m brought about uh, a, a cultural uh, plethora of, of possibilities. Uh, and uh, in one case, I'm... I'm uh, going to do an, a radio interview for, uh, for, for Ireland, <laughs> which is kind of interesting. It's always interesting what, what happens when these things, uh, when, when something comes, comes about. And, um, okay, there's Alex in, is in the room. Good to see you, Alex. Uh, finishing up my coffee. All right, let's, let's put this here. Let's turn on the treadmill. Oh, okay. Feel free to call us here, 818-528-4516. Oh, oh, okay. All right, and away we go. Well, away, away, we, away we head off. Um, yeah, I had a nice start. I had a nice, nice couple of minutes of excitement. And uh, now, now we're, we're really going to, we've got to settle in on the fact that we don't really have anything up our sleeve. Uh, so, so we'll, we'll have to just, uh, just bear with us. And, uh, in a, in a nutshell, that is kind of what we do here is, is, uh, ultimately hang out and, and persevere. Uh, we, we don't necessarily provide, uh, nonstop action. There are, there is quite a lot of lull, but the lull, uh, can be your, your friend, it can be your, uh, your uh, uh, pocket calculator, your pal. It can be your protector. Po What's the protector? What do they call those? The pen protectors? What are the little things that, that, that they put there on your, on your shirt so that your pen does not, uh, when it blows up, it does not uh, leak out onto your shirt? which is somewhat embarrassing. Uh, okay, uh, there's the number, 818-528-4516. We'll, we'll get started here, uh, or we have, we have begun. We've only just begun. And to do what, I'm not sure, but we're doing something here, nevertheless. At the very least, we'll, we'll get some exercise in. That will maybe, uh, it's sort of a jog your memory a little bit. You, literally, that's uh, that, that's what kind of it does. It, it does sort of jog your memory. And so, uh, without uh, further ado, let's work the pocket protector, pocket, pocket protector, pocket rocket, pocket pool. What, what was the other one? Pocket, pocket calculator, pocket calculator, pocket rocket, pocket pool, pocket protector. Pocket, hot pockets, hot pockets. 
Okay, whatever else, uh, you guys fill in the blanks, whatever else might be connected to a pocket, pocket jacket, jacket pocket, 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 Kirby pocket, 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 pockmarks, pox, pockmarks. He had pockmarks on his face. Pizza face. Pocket fisherman, fantastic, Laura. That is what we're looking for. We're looking for the the uh, uh, collaboration, the 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 uh, the movements of uh, of the of the mind as it. As we as had we had no idea we had no idea we were going to talk about pocket rockets pocket fishermen's pocket protector pocket <sighs> have you ha, what have you what have you give us a call 818-528-4516 818-528-4516 is the number we're going to get started here uh, we're going to put uh, our trusty uh, knee braces uh, guys by the way if you're going to run and you're going to exercise you want to make sure you know what your body's telling you. And my body's telling me I need to put on these little knee braces so that I, my knees don't hurt. Now, you don't necessarily need to do that, but when, you're due, when, it, when your body's telling you that your knees hurt, then you might want to take some action. We're taking action right here with tough acting, to act. No, uh, with, with these little rubber band things. Pocket knife, very good, Taylor. That's uh, two points for Taylor. Uh, and everybody in the chat room, uh, you also get two points too. So we're all tied up at two points here uh, in our quest, quest, Johnny Quest, Johnny Quest. That's a, that, was a, that was a good show, wasn't it? I can't recall what it was about, but I just like the name Johnny Quest. Okay, uh, there's the number, 818-528-4516. I am uh, about to get started here. Uh, for the most part, let's uh, we can we can actually do some painting today. How about that? Would you like that? We'd, after all, this is a, a show on how to paint. Oh, oh, okay. Uh, we this is really going to throw us off here, um, but uh, I will I will uh, accept the this uh, here uh, some eggs. That that'll be great. So now I'm going to eat some eggs, and then I'm going to promptly run and then puke uh, at the same time. All right, this is uh, definitely not, uh, we do not recommend doing this. Uh, in fact, if you watch my program or you ever watch me run and paint and cook and all that stuff, I, I, I always avoid, you, you really, it's not good. It's not good to eat um, anyway. But I cannot, I cannot deny, I cannot deny, I cannot say no to some freshly, some eggs. All right, but uh, nothing about nothing worse than uh, taking you back, uh, taking you back about two steps uh, backwards. Um, we we're just about to get started too. We were just about getting revved up. I was all about ready to paint. Well, now I gotta eat these, uh, eat these eggs, and some um, kind of strange crackers that uh, I'm not really terribly uh, certain I like. Uh, almost kind of has a texture of, of, a, of a cardboard texture with uh, so some sesame seeds and like seaweed in them. Uh, could be good, uh, but right at the moment I'm not not certain I'm a big fan of them at the moment. All right, well, uh, feel free to call us here. There's a the number, 818-528-4516. Hmm.
All right. So we won't eat all the crackers. We'll just put them over here. They are healthy crackers. And you know why they're healthy? Because they, they don't taste very good, so you don't eat that many. That's why they're healthy. Because if they were, if they were really tasty, you would eat the whole bag, like Ritz crackers, and then those aren't un, those are uh, that makes it unhealthy. So, one I, I would uh, suggest uh, or put forth there that that uh, a healthy cracker is a cracker that doesn't taste very good because you don't want to eat a whole bunch of them, and as such, you don't you don't eat a lot, uh, and uh, you're healthy that way. All right. Uh, we just got set back about 10 minutes here on the program, but that's all right. That's all right. A uh, little meal time, a little meal time, in flight meal time here. Give us a call, 818 528 4511. So we're going to get right, right here. We're going to go pay. All right. All uh, right. Let's, uh, let's get started here. Oh. Now, I should have stretched, and, and I didn't. Oh, okay. But we'll do it here eventually. Okay. <sighs> All right. Let's get started here. All righty. All right. Let's turn on the fan. I can already feel the heat coming in. Oh, we'll get some new gloves. These gloves suck. Let's just throw these up. Sometimes you can't use the same gloves always. Get some new gloves if you can. All right, let's go carefully. Let's go slow. We just ate a bunch of eggs. Uh, probably we're not going to go full speed here at the moment. We're just going to slowly walk here. Walk it off. And... What we want to do is maybe uh, get a canvas up here, and we could we could at least put some paint on the canvas, guys. Get going on that. Get started on an idea, whatever it is. So uh, I got these little eight by ten canvases, so we can just put some paint on there. What I probably want to do is probably go ahead and um, zoom in. Let me zoom in. Now we can get a good sh get a closer shot of what maybe we might get to paint here uh, if if we uh, ever amount to doing anything if we ever amount to a hill of beans we shall overcome give us a call 818-528-4516 uh, we got we got all our, our appendages all our our activities uh, on all our table uh, card games are all on the table on the uh, all the cards are open, uh, open face sandwich. We are here for you to take your calls, 818-528-4516. I'm Mr. Let's Paint. Thanks again for being here. We're happy to have you here as usual. Happy to hear to talk to you about possibilities in your life, whatever life possibilities that might be coming about. We're here to help you out. We're here to supercharge your existence, your metamorphosizations, uh, that uh, crustaceans, uh, uh, the blooming, uh, uh, blooming onions. I never had one of those. Those look kind of good, though. So, like they took an onion and then they chopped it up a whole bunch of times and deep fat fried it. What was the name uh, from uh, Chili's or something? I don't think I've ever been to a Chili's. I, I've never been to a Chili's. I've never been to an Olive Garden. 
Uh, I've never been to a Benihana. Never been to a Benihana. Uh, Benihana was in the news the other day, actually. Uh, the, the girl from 902101, she, uh, she, she uh, somehow fell into one of the grills and burned her arm. It's kind of a strange story. I uh, forgot her name. What's her name? She's, she's the daughter of the, uh, of the guy who, who uh, what was it? What's her names? They got a name. We all have names. Okay, anyway, uh, the blonde. She was the blonde. All right, uh, anyway, there you go. 818-528-4516. Uh, we're, we're just sort of slowly making our way down another exciting program here. Uh, programming note. We'll be on. Uh, we'll be on again live tomorrow, uh, as we are all, always uh, here, Monday through Friday, 11 to 12 noon Pacific Standard Time, taking your calls. Tori Spelling, thank you, Laura. 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 Uh, I just somehow I had a, a brain fart. I could not ex couldn't get her name. I knew what she looked like. In fact, I I, I I got her. In fact, maybe we should paint her face. Let's let's. Why don't I? Hey, why do, hey, here we go. Why? Let's paint her. Let's paint her uh, falling into a hibachi grill, burning her arm. I, it sounds awful. I've never been to Black Angus either. I've never done that. That seems kind of mean, though. It's kind of mean. I don't, I'm not going to do that. Let's just paint her portrait. I'm going to paint her portrait. Let's just paint, paint her portrait from memory, because I know what she looks like. She's had quite a lot of plastic surgery, hasn't she? Okay, point ten. Uh, point. Uh, we, we'll get to painting here, guys. But before we get to painting, I'm gonna just feel like uh, I got uh, more stuff to say here because there's a lot on my mind. Give us a call eight one eight five two eight four five one six. No, uh, we will get to painting here. Uh, and and if you have a better idea to paint, if you have a better option, then great. Otherwise, I'm gonna paint por Tori Spelling's uh, portrait, and, and maybe I'll have her um, uh, fall onto the hibachi too. I don't know. It's, it's, there's not much space here on the canvas, so maybe we should just focus. I don't, I don't know. Paint some, okay, Laura says, paint some horses and label it Tori Spelling and Sarah Jessica Parker. Now you guys are getting me. Now, wait a second, Eric. Don't, don't, please, please, let's, let's not, let's not uh, start uh, naming names here. Okay. This is a positive show. This is a this is a positive show. I'm trying to be positive. Uh, Lord knows we all have various uh, uh, idiosyncrasies or uh, issues that uh, could be t totally made fun of, which is fine. Uh, and and I guess we we can go there. But if we can avoid it, we'll be better off. I think we'll we'll sleep better at night if we can avoid. Uh, or no, we might we might actually get some extra bonus laughter uh and that laughter is good even at the uh expense of others i guess it depends if the per you know i guess if if they if they enjoy or they are okay with you like myself if, if you wanted to if you wanted to laugh at me i'm all right uh paint a swiss army knife with the cast of 902101 that's good that sounds like a lot Oh, I see. So you're saying make uh, make a Swiss Army knife and then and then all the people come out and they're like little figures. All right. I like that. Now that's a that is a creative. That is something that I think I can get into because it just doesn't make any sense. And yet it would be a fun attempt at the very least. So let's do that. This is a Swiss Army knife. OK, and we can always change it up. We can always change it up. No, no rhyme or reason to life and, and creativity doesn't have to be limited to things that are, uh, have a concept and that you stay for, full for, uh, focused on. We can, we can change it up. We can't change. We can move to the right, uh, move to the left, move, move, uh, move, move, uh, to the left, move, uh, to the, to the right. To, 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 you can move. We can change. We can change, change is good, change is good. Change, 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 change is. Da, 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 da. 
Na 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 na. All right. Uh, well, uh, a point uh, two uh, t- something miles. Uh, something. Okay. Well, let's get some paint here. Let's start off with a Swiss Army knife, since we can just do it. Just do it. So there's our Swiss Army knife. Maybe I need to lower it. And I need to make sure that that painting does not fall all over the place. So let's uh, see if I can get to that here without falling off the treadmill. Okay, I got it. And uh, let's just kind of, this is not the best move on my part to, uh, as a way to tighten the painting onto the cam on the easel so it doesn't fall off, but it's okay. Okay, let's, uh, let's do our Swiss Army knife. Now, this is somewhat of a dumb idea, but we, we are okay with dumb ideas. It's about, it's about as dumb ideas I've, I've, I've seen, and I must say that dumb ideas can be, uh, can be good. Okay, well, at least it's a Swiss Army knife. We got that part covered somewhat. Just put some paint down here. Um, okay, so let's, let's go ahead and put some of the various uh, elements. There, there's the knife part. All right, where's the corkscrew? Now, I haven't put the, fig, the people in there yet, but we're just going to put some of the other fun things that, that are part of, the, of what you think of a Swiss Army knife could be. All right, uh, this will be the, uh, some kind of whatever. Oh, the saw. We've got to get a saw in there. Let's get a saw. That should be the saw, shouldn't it? You can make you the saw or, or whatever. I don't know. It doesn't really matter. Let's see. Let's just make this the saw. You know, one of the things I've always liked is the Swiss Army knife that is mechanic, the gigantic Swiss Army knife that becomes mechanicalized that you see like at a watch knife store or whatever, like on display. I've always, I always thought that was cool. Maybe you could pick one up off of eBay or something. Scissors, scissors, thank you, scissors. We get scissors. Let me finish the, uh, the little saw guy. Okay, so there's a saw and then scissors. This is supposed to be, this, is, this guy is supposed to be the, uh, like to open up a beer can of beer or something. Oh, I, uh, oh, I know, the other uh, scissors. Let's get some scissors. Frankly, I, I'm not sure I'm going to be putting uh, the cast of 92101 all right. 91210. Ah, now I got it all wrong. 91210. 921. Is that, wait. Do I got it wrong? Okay, let's get some scissors in here. You're watching Let's Pay TV, 818-528-4516. We're here every day. Uh, I'm kind of just walking right now, aren't I? It's uh, not necessarily a high-energy show, but we are trying to uh, go slowly, I guess, uh, because I just ate a bunch of eggs. And one thing, you know, it's like you don't want to go swimming after you eat, and you don't want to go running. You don't really want to exercise too much after you eat a lot. So be careful if you are. Be ginger, ginger. Uh, and ginger would be kind of nice to eat some right now. To, you know, and ginger, if you didn't know this, but ginger, if you are eating uh, sushi ever, the ginger is a way to, uh, to, to uh, clean your palate to get to the next food. It's not, it's not something that you're supposed to just put on top of your, of your sushi. You know, you don't throw it all in there, even though that's what I do. But uh, you're supposed to. Uh, and, and I learned this uh, from uh, the great uh, uh, master chefs, uh, Iron Chef uh, uh, Kanichiwa uh, uh, Wakanano, uh, that that is a palate. It's used for the palate. So uh, next time you uh, eat sushi, consider that as a palate changer, uh, separate, as opposed to uh, just throw it all in the mix kind of deal with your wasabi and, and your soy sauce, throwing, you know, like one big uh, mess. One big, uh, no, treat it, treat it as a uh, more of a delicate uh, so- a segue, segue. 
All right, a little cultural help here, uh, a little cultural uh, significance uh, on the program, Let's Paint TV. Talking about your creativity, talking about boosting your, your, uh, your, your uh, uh, creativity uh, credits, getting you some creativity credits uh, that we could trade. We could trade in, but we don't want you to trade. We're, this is not, these aren't, uh, this is not carbon credits. This is creativity credits. We all got them. And we're not here to, to buy and sell. We, we're here to get them going more, get you boosting more with that as opposed to not, not doing one, one way or the other. Point four, uh, four uh, miles, uh, point, point, point four, three miles on the program. A lot of people in the room here. Uh, thanks again for being here. Uh, and maybe a couple of new uh, stragglers coming in. Thanks again for being here. We sure hope, we sure hope you stay with us as we uh, trudge, trudge away, as we, as we power on through life. Uh, each and every day, Monday through Friday, 11 to 12 noon Pacific Standard Time. All right, read some, trying to read stuff a million miles away. Uh, I just heard on the news that Rita Wilson is fighting breast cancer. Uh oh. All right. Well. Uh, okay. Yeah, that sucks. No doubt about it. All right. Uh, cancer sucks. Uh, yeah, that sucks, man. That that's just uh, that's bad news. Uh, thanks. Thanks for the bad news, Eric. Uh, All right, uh, nothing about uh, nothing, <laughs> nothing, nothing terribly great about uh, cancer, right? Okay, uh, scissors. Let's get back to our scissors here. Uh, we'll put some scissors on this side here. All right, there's some scissors right there. Look at that. Look at that go, guys. Look at that go. I'm going to reinforce, re, re uh, structure the, the knife here. There you go. Uh, maybe, maybe put a little, uh, little line of, of a uh, little a source. Like a some kind of you know side angle shot basically is what I'm trying to get to. All right, so there you go. There, there's our, our there there it is. Uh, let's let's get that little uh, Swiss flag cross. You know, I always thought that uh, Swiss Army was the one of the uh, one of the companies that actually suffered uh, quite a lot because of 9/11. Because um, everyone before 9/11 used to carry little Swiss Army knives, little teeny pocket Swiss Army knives, but now you can't do that. You can't go on a plane with a little knife. So I think Swiss Army. I'm surprised Swiss Army, uh, the Swiss Army company, is still uh, survived because, you know, you can't really travel with them anymore. Okay, so there's our Swiss Army knife. Now let's see if we can get some people on there. Uh, 0.57. Now I should slow it down if I'm going to get any kind of clarity uh, on this. Uh, if we can't, yeah, it, it's true, Eric. We're all part of this. Uh, it is part of life, uh, life and death. Uh, however, uh, we will uh, try to uh, stay on the uh, the happy side of life. Always look on the bright side of life. Uh, okay, I guess uh, if we can, if we can, if if, if we can't, believe me, uh, no. No one's gonna give you, make you, you know, uh, there is a time, there is a time. 
turn, 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 turn. There is a season, turn, turn, turn. There is a reason and a purpose for everything. There is a time to feel like shit. There is a time to feel euphoric. There is a time and place, buddy. Any time, any place, buddy. Take it outside. Let's take it outside. Turn, turn, turn. There is a season, turn, turn, turn. And a reason for just about anything, everything under heaven. Give us a call, 818-528-4516. Okay, well, let's get some little, let's get the cast of 912100. 91200, ah, damn it, doesn't matter. Okay, so let's, let's put, uh, this, this is going to be one of the, one of the people and this is going to be another person here they're all white by the way so we're just going to use a lot of white and a little bit of yellow ochre on their for their skin uh heads okay all right so th there you go look at that now uh let's get the Let's do Tori Spelling first. Uh, she'll put her on the hair. Get her. She's got blonde hair, so let's put some blonde hair on her. There you go. Don't worry about the eyes and stuff. We're just kind of blocking in. You want to just block in. Now let's get the other girl. The other girl that she was. Uh, there was three girls, wasn't there? All right. Uh, uh, one, one, one was the brunette. What was her name? She had an Irish name. All right. And she kind of had buck teeth. All right. Well, anyway, there's there she is. And then there was like another lady, too. She was sort of kind of... Wasn't there... Uh, whatever. I, I don't know. Doesn't really matter. Okay. Let's get the... And then there's the... the there was two guys, three guys. Was there three guys? What was the cast? I forget. Now there was the guy with the, with the curly uh, afro, uh, red afro thing. All right, there's that guy, and then the other guy, uh, he ended up marrying um, uh, some famous uh, sex symbol, Laura Kraft or, or one of them ladies. Not not uh, Angela Jolie, but uh, some other lady. Okay, let's put him in there. Doesn't really matter uh, if we get it to look like anything other than just uh, just a, a face or two. Just a suggestion, guys, is really all we need sometimes. I'm going to actually stop running so I can get a little more intricate on the brushwork here. Get a little more movement here if we can. Get a little more detail, my friends. A little more clarification. We're starting to focus in on what we want. We know what we want now. We're not dancing around. We're not yelling and screaming. We are on a mission. A mission. We know what we want. It's a good thing. Yes. Yes, it's a good thing. Okay, so that's the uh, that's where we are. We're just kind of clarification, a little bit of a clarification, uh, just a little bit of more of a clarification for you right now. And uh, this is sort of a uh, side, we kind of have a side angle, so we're giving a little hint of the various elements of the Swiss Army knife. And uh, let's give a little more. If you ever ever look at a, the various Swiss Army, I mean, there's, there's tons of possibility these Swiss Army knives. In fact, it would be would be fun. You know, it'd be fun. I think I think I got an idea in terms of painting. 
makes them just outlandish, outlandish Swiss, Swiss Army knife. Swiss Army knife is basically the forerunner to Transformers, you know? Yep, yeah, uh, that's right, Laura. That's right. Brian Austin Green married Megan Fox. Oh, Jason Priestley. Yeah, Luke Perry. Wait, I'm mixing them up now. So there was a whole bunch of them. God, there was a whole bunch of people on 9102100. I can't, I can't picture them too much, though. But I remember, wasn't, was Luke Perry supposed to be kind of, wait, Jason Priestley, I'm getting mixed up with Luke Perry and Jason Priestley. Is, uh, is that, is that a, uh, who was the, the tough guy that was sort of the uh, uh, Fonzie? Who was the Fonzie guy? Was that Luke Perry? I think it was. He was kind of like the Fonzie, the, the, the tough guy. You know, not understood kind of guy, right? All right. Uh, anyway, let's get back to our painting here. Let's fine tune this uh, just a tad bit more. Get some eyeballs in here and stuff. Uh, feel free to call us here on the program. It's Let's Paint TV. We're trying to motivate you uh, and, and our, myself at the same time uh, killing a lot of birds with uh, with one one or two stones uh, but we're now we're kind of focused in on some detail work and as such uh, we're not running at the moment but we want to get back to the running I want I want to get some exercise in of course I had some eggs in me just prior to uh, the, the running part of phase. And so we want to be careful about that if we can. Uh, try not to uh, let that, uh, um, we don't want the eggs to come up is uh, basically, uh, we're aware of that, being a little careful if we can. Just a little more. Uh, uh, now, how much fine tuning do we want? You know, that's uh, that's that, now when we make when we, when we make something here like this, you don't know always when to stop. Part of me wants to stop right away <laughs> and and move on. I kind of want to move on to the other idea that we had. You know, uh, but this is this is good. This is good. Okay, that's the uh, Swiss Army knife, the corkscrew thing. Give them some eyeballs. Let's give them some eyeballs. Um, it's kind of floating in air. Maybe when I put a little uh, lower area, a uh, give it a uh, a base, a place to land. Not not imperative. Obviously, it's not imperative. However, uh, it is something we can do. So I'm doing that right now. You know, painting is uh it is a very uh lovely uh escape and and rewarding the trick is to not let it not not let the failure overwhelm you. Now there's a few ways to get around that. And 
Okay, I'm already entering failure land. But the way you get around it, Oh, sideburns. Yes, we need sideburns for one of them. Let's give uh, sideburns for the guy, Luke Perry, or, or one of those guys. There. Okay. That's just about where we want it. But we're entering the failure section where, if, uh, you know, the promise was given to us. And, and now it's, it's sort of being taken away from us, from uh, the entrance, of, from our uh, continuation and, and potential pitfalls that uh, start to unfold. And sometimes it's hard to deal with, uh, and, and you don't know really how to uh, handle it hard to handle sometimes it's it's uh it's frustrating i'm gonna put a little shadow here um but here's the, here's a, a a couple there's a couple of tricks here guys uh that uh, we we want to reiterate uh in terms of how to handle the failure if you can and one of the best things that you can remember always is is that you can make make your you can make a bunch of stuff uh, as opposed to just concentrating on one thing. Uh, make a number of pieces, and then by doing so, uh, you're going to get a few that are just totally terrible. And you throw those away. You paint over them. But out of 10, let's just say, out of 10 pieces that you did, you're going to get one or two that are, are, are like, uh, hopefully, hopefully, now, if you're starting off and you don't really have uh, the wherewithal to get going and, you know, you're, you just things aren't working out because you don't have any experience, well, then you have to understand that that's also an issue. Uh, though, luckily, uh, for a lot of us, we have beginner's luck, and that helps, beginner's luck, to, uh, to get us uh, over the hump. But uh, sometimes we don't get that. And, Maybe that's, uh, you know, maybe that's a, uh, you know, underlying uh, message to you to probably uh, move on and do something else with your life. Now, that I had, you know, having said that, I, I, I don't want, I, I don't want to give up and I don't want you to give up, but maybe, maybe you need to, I don't know. But, but, but definitely don't give up the 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 creative process you can apply it to other things maybe it's not painting for you maybe maybe you just don't you just can't you don't want to enter it i don't want to write i i, I avoid that uh, as much as possible so you know i'm not i don't just jump in and start writing although i guess i could if i have to but ultimately it's, it's something i avoid so uh i totally get uh, get your potential uh issues uh, when it comes to that so we're just sort of fine-tuning the thing and, and like I said it's am I ruining uh, or am I improving back and forth we go one may not never know but We are doing. We're, we are figuring something out. We're figuring out something, as opposed to uh, doing nothing. And and, the, and and that's because we decided to do something. We decided to do something. We're doing something. All right. That's about it on this. This is it. This is it. I'm gonna sign it. And then we can go back and play. I got to get back and exercise too. Uh, 818-528-4516. I'll sign it. You guys can buy it.
By the way, we have a lot of stuff available to buy and, and uh, paintings and, and t-shirts. Uh, and, and you can just do that over there at letspainttv.com. Letspainttv.com. Everything is available. Uh, I am for sale. Uh, you could buy me. You, you, can, you can take me out. Uh, uh, you can take me out on a date. I'm, I'm making myself available. No, I'm not, actually. I'm not. I'll, I'll strike that. Uh, well, you can could, you could, you could, you could take me out for a cup of coffee, I guess. Uh, 818-528-4516. Uh, we, we just did some painting. I'm about to get back to into some exercise. Now, I, usually I like to do everything all at once, but, you know, it doesn't always work. So what, uh, and when we want to get more detailed, so that's why I had to stop running. However, I, we, we do, we do love doing it all, all at once because, you know, after all, that is where, where it's at. That's where, that's where we, we, we grow and excel. Uh, don't let people tell you otherwise. Don't let people say, oh, you got to slow down. Slow. No, no, no. We, we are advancing people. We are advancing we are humans. We are evolving. We can take on the world and we can take it all on all at once. All right, uh, 818-528-4516, 0.7 miles. Uh, let's get a little faster here. Get up the speed here. Celebrate, let's celebrate. Let's celebrate uh, creativity, guys. Celebrating creativity one step at a time here on the program celebrate we're gonna have a good time celebrate we're gonna paint and run all at the same time celebrate give me a call 818-528-4516 we are at uh, three let's go to 3.5 miles an hour let's go up to four miles an hour here those eggs have found their way down to the bottom of my stomach i don't think they're gonna pop up anytime soon so i think we'll be okay that way i can get to a little past a mile, maybe a mile and a half here towards the end of the program here at Let's Pay TV. Giving it all, giving it you all, giving it our all every day, even though we don't feel like it most of the time. But we force it. We got to force feed the creativity, force feed the exercise, baby. Maybe once in a while, just once in a while. Can't wait for inspiration to, to, to ring its bell, knock, it, knock on the door, knock the door down. You gotta sometimes force it. You gotta force it. Manufacture those runs, guys. Can't always hit a home run. All right. Ooh. All right. Feeling it, baby. Feeling the love, baby. Yeah, our uh, 92101 special Swiss Army knife. <laughs> Starts. I like the idea of making a whole bunch of various Swiss Army knives, all fucked up, crazy ass shit, Swiss Army knife. <sighs> all right. You know, we don't go much past five miles an hour. That's, that's about as far as I go. And I haven't done that in a while. I, I pretty much uh, stay at around four. It's pretty manageable. Uh, we're, we're, we, we worry about safety here. At, at Let's Pay TV, it's a big, a big part of why we keep going. It's because we are uh, concerned about our safety, if we can. It may seem, it may seem uh, as if one is out of control, as if I'm out of control, but it's all calculated. Everything I do is calculated. At least. Uh, at a moment's notice, it is, <laughs> as everything is. Everything's calculated at a moment's notice. Uh, we make decisions. Uh, all right. Taking your calls here on the program. 818-528-4516. As mentioned before, uh, you can buy, you can buy paintings, t-shirts. You can buy this t-shirt by, by golly, the Let's Embrace Failure t-shirt. We have that available uh, at our shop link uh, at letspainttv.com. And uh, that will take you to our Etsy store or our eBay store. And you can get the shirts there, hand painted by yours truly, Mr. Let's Paint. Huh. 
But we also have paintings and 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 uh, and whatnot. Uh, now you can support this program also other ways, uh, and one way to do that is through Patreon.com. Patreon.com, uh, and here's the link for that. If I can figure out how to do this, okay. See, all right, here we go. Patreon.com, right there. Uh, you can support the program as little as a dollar a, a month. Dollar a month. Go to patreon.com slash let's paint TV. There you go. And uh, if you do so, we'll put your name in the credits for the show. Look how beautiful, isn't that, isn't that wonderful? Okay, just a few more minutes here left on the program. Uh, I wanna thank you all for being here. We had a great time. Thanks for, again for the suggestions and the collaborations. Who knew? Who knew that we were gonna make a Swiss Army knife with the members of, of 912100? But things, that's how it works. That's how creativity can work. That's how the creative process can work, people, through the, the movement of, 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 of the continuum, the continuum, and, and keeping an open mind to the possibilities. Uh, and be willing to fail. Be willing to fail and flounder, flounder, which probably not the best name for a fish, flounder. And uh, also, tilapatha, tilapatha, not a good name for a fish either. Bad fish name, as far as I'm concerned. All right. Just a few more minutes here left on the program. Thanks again for being here. Last chance to give us a call here. We are live. We are live. One mile. We didn't do that much, but I'm getting some running in right now. So We'll go a little further. I'm going to go a little further here. Feeling kind of good about that. Feeling good about myself. Feeling good about myself in the neighborhood. Feeling good in the neighborhood. Getting good. Getting going. Get going here, Joe. Let's get moving. Let's get moving. 1.12. 1.12 miles. And uh, we are at, uh, uh, is it stuck there? Looks like it's stuck. Okay, well that's fine. Uh, 1.14, I don't know why it does that, but it does. Okay, fantastic. Ah. Uh. Just kind of coming down to the end here, guys. Kind of petering out. Said everything we need to say. Whew. Ah! Ah! 1.2 miles. Getting a nice high, guys. A natural high, baby. Exercise, creativity, healthy eating. That's what it's about, my friends. Howdy ho! Howdy, howdy ho! Howdy, howdy ho! Ah, let me get this gloves off. Kind of sweaty. 1.2 miles, 1.23 miles. Ah. Whew. There you go, yeah. All right, we're gonna go to 1.5 miles an hour. And that's it. That's it, last chance calls here. Let's pay TV. We're here every day, Monday to Friday, 11 to 12 noon Pacific Standard Time. Tell your friends. Ah.
time cannot go any faster, could it? <laughs> I'm gonna slow it down here. Huh. All right, it's 12 noon, people. You know what that means, our time is up. All right, guys, uh, we didn't quite make it to 1.5, but rest assured, I'm gonna go a little longer. But for all intents and purposes, the show is over. Thanks again. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye. One point three five, one point three six. Drink your water, people. Drink water. Exercise. Paint.